Hi, this is Bill with Freedom Book Club. We are about to enter the 2017 Austin Boat Show. Welcome to the 2017 Boat and RV Show in Austin, Texas. Uh, my name is Bill Marquardt with Freedom Book Club and I'm going to be taking you through the show today. We're saving you on the mission to the boat show as well as the hassle of driving downtown and the parking. Uh, the show is approximately 13 minutes or so to get through. Most of the boat show will be boats and I'm also going to show you the vendors as well as some of the RVs. During the video, feel free to pause it, zoom in, look at the pricing. And before I get started, and you know, you'll see some boats in the background, pontoons and center consoles. I just wanted to let you know that if you do see something that you want to purchase, um, we also have inventory for sale, but if you want to purchase from one of the dealers and there's a, there's a brand new boat or something that you're really looking to buy, I would be happy to refer you to any of the local dealerships. I have relationships with almost all of them. Um, South Austin Marine is actually where we buy a lot of our boats, um, and I'd be happy to send you to somebody there um, at Sail and Ski or Ski Dock. So let's get started. Um, you've already seen some of the boats if you've been watching the video. There were some center consoles. Um, now we're looking uh, on the right. You saw some IOs, uh, bow riders, open bow boats. Here's a Avalon Tritune double-decker with a slide. Uh, we don't currently have one of them in the fleet here. Uh, really for just insurance purposes, you see that that slide empties right over by the engine. Um, here's some center consoles, um, not center consoles, but that was a crown line. Here's some boats from Ski Dock, and that's a RZX. A beautiful wakeboard boat. That's an inboard, which means the engine and uh, prop are more underneath the boat usually designed for surfing. There's a ballast system and other devices that allow you to shape the wake for wakeboarding, skiing, slalom, etc. You saw that there is a bar in the background, so if you come down to this boat show, you're welcome to drink. The boat drinks are a little overpriced, um, but you know most people in the show will be walking around with a beer or a beverage in their hand if you see them. Here's a uh, nice wakeboard boat from Ski Dock, another Taiga. Um, this one is red. You see they've definitely um, really stepped up, I think, a lot of the boat manufacturers with some of the paint jobs and the interior design. Uh, they're beautiful boats. There's a purple one in the background, um, a blue one that's got the sparkle paint. Uh, those are terrific boats, unless you happen to scratch one. Um, so if you own the boat and you bump into a dock, uh, it is going to cost you a pretty penny to try to match that sparkly paint that looks so awesome in the sun. Um, there's tigers, blue tigers in the background. Uh, there's a multicolored one. Uh, we're going to walk over this way, um, look at some more open bow boats and some mastercrafts, it looks like. Yep, um, let's see. That is a mastercraft X20. Uh, so a 20 foot inboard. Uh, mastercrafts are uh, terrific boats. Uh, you'll see the price tag on most of these new wakeboard boats um, is going to be upwards of 80 to 100 and 180. Uh, you can see this one is a uh, bargain price for the boat show at only $165,000. That uh, is the Mastercraft X Star. You can see that it is a beautiful boat, and there's absolutely nothing wrong with it. Um, not everybody has 165k uh, to drop on a boat as opposed to a, um, a small house, uh, but it is what's selling uh, these days. Here's one for $78,000. This is a really small boat and it's a unique design. It's got the old style where you see the engine compartment in the center covered um, and then more room around it so it doesn't have the back deck. And then it also has very, a little seating up front. There's really not much there. I'm not sure how that folds away, but there is a little cover that goes over the top. Here's a $92,000 uh, fiberglass tune. Um, so it's a uh, tri-tune, but it's got the fiberglass on the outside and uh, makes the boat look really nice. So, But it is essentially still a tri-tune. Um, laid out, it's got the, uh, a beautiful interior with the outboard on the back. That's uh, a beautiful boat. Just be careful docking it um, because it isn't a tune and has fiberglass. This is the WSS. This is the new um, Cobalt. Um, it is a uh, reverse drive. So you'll see it as we're going up. 
that the drive is reversed, so the propeller is on the inside. This allows it to be a surf boat, uh, which is why they designed it that way. Um, it, Cobalts are beautiful boats. I have not personally driven a Cobalt reverse drive, but we have tested a couple of reverse drive boats. And while you can surf behind them and you can do a lot of different things, they're not uh, V-drives. They're not comparable to some of the other boats you'll see here um, when it comes to actually shaping the wake. Here's a range of uh, tritunes, uh, beautifully outfitted, uh, similar to a lot of our boats with the faux wood grain floors and comfortable interior. Um, you see a lot of Yamahas, that's a 250, 150s um, on the back of these Avalons, uh, comfortable looking lounge chairs. These are going to retail, you know, anywhere between probably 55 to uh, 100 um, and 30, 140. Here's a little preview of the RV show. That's a tiny little pop-up trailer, kind of neat, very, very small, probably towable with a small car, actually. You can see South Austin brought some big boats for you to go through. So just be prepared to take your shoes off, and you can take a look at some of the cruisers uh, retailing for you know five, six, seven, eight hundred thousand dollars. A little bit different. Um, this is a Regals. Um, these are what we run in the club. Um, I think we actually have this exact boat with this interior, um, so it's comfortable, beautiful boats. And instead of having to put twenty thousand down and making payments, uh, you just join the club and you get access. Here are some Malibus. Uh, we're looking at running some Malibus this year, so you might see them in the club. Um, these will be our wake surf, wake board boats to accommodate that kind of activity. Uh, here's an Axis, uh, beautiful boat. These inboards, like I said, these are the trend uh, in boat sales. Uh, they're expensive boats compared to what, you know, if you're looking at boats for the first time, what you might expect. Uh, you're going to pay a lot for these boats. They're designed for specific kinds of activities. Um, if you've never driven a V-Drive, then you might not realize that uh, backing is a little challenging, and then driving the boats themselves does require um, some training sometimes, especially with some of the boats that you're about to see uh, with the electronics and all of the different bells and whistles and starting procedures that are now incorporated in the boats. So with those $175,000, $180,000 price tags comes fun, cool electronics. Uh, you look at some of these Malibus, um, the wake setters, um, I think uh, have a better wake um, than uh, even the G's. And uh, they have the same bells and whistles. The wake on these I think is a little longer, easier to control, not as sharp for surfing. You also have a watch you can wear uh, that allows you to shift back and forth. Uh, from goofy to regular foot, um, surfer skiers, wake boarders. Uh, so when you're surfing, you can flip from right to left without doing anything. Here are some more uh, tritunes. This is a Bennington. This is very, very similar to what we have in the club. We just got two, uh, actually four, 2017s in, and uh, we got those from uh, South Austin Marine. So thank you guys. Um, uh, it's the same boats that you'll see at the show. Uh, here's some fishing boats. You'll see center consoles fishing boats. Uh, we just got a cool new um, uh, Not saltwater center console, uh, but flat water fishing boat for the Conroe location in Houston, Texas One of the benefits of the club Especially if you like fishing is that you can travel in boat you know, rather than getting a big truck and Driving for hours and hours and hours to hit the coast and dropping the boat in and then cleaning it off and doing all of that You can just fly and show up and start boating. Um, I know at our Los Angeles location, members are, have actually caught uh, wahoos only a mile away from the marina. Um, it's a very deep drop there, and you can go to San Diego, New York, Boston, Florida, uh, Key West. Um, we have a location in Almorada and actually take out boats. Now you see some of the vendors. You can see they're giving away a Yeti cooler, and uh, it looks like it was stocked full of beer because he's drinking one already uh, pretty early in the show for that. Here are some more uh, fishing boats, um, set really designed for fishing. You can see the chairs on the front. Um, you know it's got trolling motors and is designed. You know bass fishing, flat water fishing. We don't run them here in the club. Most of our members are, you know, married with kids and want to pull the tube. And fishing is just not really the activity. But getting to the club um, with our locations. Uh, at Ralph Hollow, you'd valet your car. In Steiner Ranch, you can drive up, and we have a parking spot for you. But we do have a lot of members that live close and live in golf cart communities, and these are beautiful golf carts. So maybe 
maybe you come to the show and buy a golf cart that you can drive to the boat club in. Um, you're not going to be towing any boats with these golf carts, but um, they are beautiful and come in different colors and seating, and uh, they seem to be the craze in a, in a lot of different neighborhoods. These are um, uh, decked out. Here's some uh, lifts. One of the benefits to the club, if you're looking at owning, you know, um, you can buy used or new, but it's going to run, you know, 6500 to 9500 for the lift plus installation. Uh, we take care of that for you. Here's uh, some knives. A lot of people go to the boat show for knives. No, not really. Uh, you saw Texas Sailing in the background. We do have a sailboat. We offer sailing lessons. Uh, a lot more affordable than Texas Sailing. Those are good guys over there. We work with Landfall Sailing, and we also have an instructor in town. Um, there's a gutter and leaf filter system. We, of course, have those installed on all of our boats in the boat club. No, not really, but uh, they are at the boat show, and it looks like they were signing somebody up. Here's some kayaks that are designed for fishing. Uh, if you are a member of the boat club, we do have kayaks actually available for you at Rough Hollow that you can take out if you don't want to take a boat. Uh, it looks like they're still setting up for the show there. Uh, sunglasses, uh, food, and... Uh, different water sports, that's a water skiing club, um, some more golf carts, you can, Golf Carts of Austin, I guess, is who's displaying at the show today, um, you'll see jewelry, all of, most of the marinas that are not full are represented here, um, and now let's take a look at some RVs, um, for Crestview RV, there's a Coleman, uh, boat show special for $10,995, that is a towable RV, with a table, um, plenty of room, the RVs are pretty cool. Looks like they're 10, 11, 12, kind of getting bigger and bigger. This one has a little bit bigger of a bed and setup. Um, you'll see some beautiful RVs here um, with lots of room, bedrooms, cool chairs. This is a $175 a month. Not a bad deal. Um, Freedom Adventures is a new offering that we're here in Austin. We're the first to offer it in motorcycles, Jeeps, and RVs are next. So if you are looking for RVs, or actually even if you need uh, a place to store your RVs, we have some RV storage available at our property on Hudson Bend Road. So with easy access um, to the lake, to the water, to the neighborhoods in the area. Here's a uh, uh, shower, bathroom, all in one. Uh, that's in one of the little RVs. A little Thank you for taking this tour today with me of the 2017 Austin Boat and RV Show. Freedom Boat Club is an alternative to boat ownership that works better for most people who are busy with life and other things that interferes with your ability to boat. If you'd like to see what we have to offer and come see the facilities and take a tour of our boats on the water, we're doing an on the water boat show next Saturday at Rough Hollow Yacht Club. Simply reply to this email saying that you'd like to attend and we'd be delighted to have you. Again, Freedom Boat Club, the boat is waiting.